my most important teacher is uh, Jumin Chen. He lives in Luzern, Switzerland. Okay, I'm going to be greedy and choose three important teachers for myself. Um, my teacher at present is Master Shen Shijing. He is a teacher who offers me everything that I love in Tai Chi and Qigong. My first teacher was of course very important because he made me curious to learn more and he obviously did the right thing because I'm still here learning and teaching. Thank you Stefan. And a third teacher who is very important, my students. I teach every day from my students. Thanks to my students. So actually I had two most important teachers. The first one was my first Kung Fu teacher, Mike. I don't know if he wants me to uh, call his whole, uh, whole name here. Um, he sent me on the path of Kung Fu. He taught me everything about being a Kung Fu student, being a student of life. And he had a very strong personality. He was a great man. He still is a great man. And um, I've learned a lot of, uh, from him. The second most important teacher is my Shifu, uh, Chen Zhousen Shifu from Chen Zhago. And he taught me all the Taiji principles. And when I'm starting uh, practicing with him 10 years ago, I really noticed, okay, my Taiji is coming to next level now. And he gave me, he taught me everything about really developing strength with Taiji, not only being soft and relaxed but also building a lot of spiral and yeah spiral strengths and putting power into your movements yeah. a long path which started in hessen with lee style and then took many different directions to chen style in hamburg and then uh, trying many various traditions of uh, Qigong. And then I discovered the Tai Chi Dao Dragon Gate system, which is one where I feel really most at home. I can say my journey has been filled with many amazing people, surprises, disappointments, hard work, and most of all, joy. So I'm following the path of the peaceful Kung Fu warrior since many, many years. And at the end, it's all about trying to do your best every day. Yeah? Be peaceful with yourself and um, forgive yourself if you have a day like uh, you're, you're not so strong or you have a weak day. It's okay. But then the next day, try to come back as strong as you can, mentally and physically. Try to be um, a support, a, a useful support or useful part for the people who, who uh, you love. Yeah, like your, your, your whole family, your parents, your kids, your wife or your, your husband and um, your partner. So always watch yourself, reflect yourself, develop yourself personal and uh, your personality step on the next level since i was young i'm really fascinated in meditation and uh, our mind and tai chi chuan and i chuan uh, for me is the perfect combination to train body and mind so the path is uh, something like um, understanding a little bit more of the complexity of our mind and uh, body uh, with the help of uh, smooth movements. I don't know what, what book I would take with, but at the end I would take just a lot of empty sheets and a pen and write my own book because always when I'm on my own, there are so many thoughts in my mind, so I always start writing. Uh, I will not take a book uh, with me, I uh, will probably write one. I'd take an empty book with me because then I can fill it with all my new ideas. I already have hundreds of half-filled empty books. 
This question is uh, not easy. I uh, like to listen to whole different kinds of music, so it's changing every day. Well, having spent most of my life working with music, at present I really love birdsong in the morning and birdsong in the evening. Uh, at the moment, I don't listen to any specific song, but um, since my youth, I'm I'm loving rap music, all kind of old school gangster rap and hip hop music. So um, this is always my playlist for the day: good old school rap. A favorite saying of mine in England is "Every cloud." has a silver lining and I think at present with the Corona Lager uh, the situation is let's see what's positive at the moment. Otherwise I think um, important for me is also the earth below me, the sky above, these are the only things we can rely on. Uh, to be honest I could say something very spiritual and philosophic here now, but uh, there is no sentence moving me at the moment. There's nothing. <laughs> uh, one question that is uh, moving me for a long time is uh, how to break the physical limits uh, to prevent suffering by uh, using the power of our minds um, with the help of imaginations. And the challenge I am facing every day, it's quite simple. Um, I'm a full-time teacher, I'm a full-time father, I'm a full-time entrepreneur, I'm a full-time practitioner. And the day only got 24 hours. So, and sometimes I sleep. <laughs> so, at the moment, in this part of my life, I'm very often, I'm very tired and still trying to give my best. So, this is my challenge. <laughs> Every day there are um, smaller and bigger challenges uh, during the practice, so this is uh, changing all the time. But at the moment, for sure, a big challenge is uh, how to train inner martial arts uh, by or with uh, social distancing. Okay, the greatest challenge for me is that I can't practice Tai Chi uh, the way I used to 20 years ago. This would be really great, but it's a challenge. And so I'm learning to do less and this little better and more concentrated. Uh, I think I would be a swimming pig, so a pig that lives in the water, uh, because I'm something like a lucky pigfish. Okay, well I consider myself to be nature, human beings belong to nature, so um, what would I like to be if I'm not a human? I think a fluffy cloud would be great. Anyway, I'm a part of nature, so uh, practicing Tai Chi every day uh, let me feel like I'm um, very uh, unified with, with nature. But if I had to make a decision what part I'd be, um, I would be the ocean. I love surfing, being uh, at the ocean, practicing Tai Chi at the ocean, so flowing. Be water, my friend, like the ocean. That's what I would be.